The sensational twist in the Sunanda Pushkar case now. Pictures of Sunanda Pushkar inside a five-star hotel room in the capital available exclusively with headlines today show her lying on the bed with injury marks on her neck and wrist. Sources in the Delhi police also told headlines today that at least two men entered Pushkar's room the day she died and allegedly cleaned up the room to destroy evidence. The hotel room where she was found dead was revisited by the police and forensic, forensic experts recently. The suite had remained sealed and was open for the first time since the incident for the visit. Now, the Delhi police is likely to send her viscera samples to a laboratory either in Britain or the US to identify the poison that cannot be detected in Indian labs. All right, let's cut across live now to Atir Khan who joins us with all the latest. Now, Atir, two things. Number one, uh, what made the Delhi police arrive to this conclusion that uh, perhaps this could be an unnatural death and a case under Section 302 also needs to be registered? Because the criticism is that it is coming very, very late in the day, almost a year after this particular incident. And a follow-up question, will Mr. Shashi Tharoor be questioned in the light of the latest evidence? Well, you see, it uh, took police a while to arrive to this conclusion because they were working on the theory of elimination, uh, deduction by elimination, and that's why first, you know, it uh, started as an inquest for dowry death, and uh, that had been ruled out in the inquest, and now, as the medical reports um, uh, came, uh, the police has arrived to this conclusion that uh, the case is homicidal in nature, though there are no allegations whatsoever on the part of... Uh, the deceased family of any foul play, but then uh, uh, the presence of poison in her body uh, shows that there was malified intention, and therefore the line of investigation in some case has totally changed now. Now it has moved towards how uh, the po poison reached uh, Sunanda Pushkar's body. So that will be the line of investigation, and in that light, the police is certainly going to uh, question Shashi Tharoor and others who uh, are in some way connected to this case. Shashi Tharoor being the husband, the police would like to know how is it uh, that who, who were the people who met her that day, what happened and what actually, what were the events which led to her death. So certainly it will be questioned sooner or later, but then the police, uh, at the moment the priority for them is to send the samples uh, of, to test this uh, polonium and uh, thallium that has to be ruled out, whether they are going to do it in Trombe or they will be sent abroad, that's the call the police is going to take. Absolutely, Atir. Now, you know, a follow-up question really is going to be amid that criticism that uh, the Delhi police is taking a lot of time in, in you know, carrying out the investigation, perhaps uh, also exploring the theory of elimination, which you were actually talking about, uh, and changing the, the, you know, the line of investigation. But is there any possibility of a time-bound investigation in this particular case? Because it's already one year gone and the investigation still continues. Well, you see, uh, Sanket, uh, there are no uh, eyewitnesses uh, who have uh, have seen the entire, uh, you know, events. Uh, but then uh, there are there are some clues, there are some evidence the, which the police already has. So it was uh, not in any um, uh, hurry to, you know, uh, sort of uh, register a case. It has registered a case of murder because it suspects there's a foul play. Uh, there was a presence of poison in her body and there were some also some other events, some other clues which have led police to arrive to this conclusion. Uh, but yes, certainly, uh, it's been a long time now. Uh, uh, it took police a while to arrive to this conclusion. And uh, But but then, uh, when the case goes to trial, uh, they'll certainly have a difficult time. The police is going to, uh, will have to answer a number of questions uh, which, uh, uh, which, will, uh, which will come up during the trial, Sanket. Now, Arthur, uh, before we let you go, one uh, quick response from you on why would the police also look into the aspect of the crime scene being dressed up? I mean, we here at Headlines today have uh, managed these pictures which clearly show that perhaps someone did enter. Someone did enter that room where Sunanda Pushkar was. Uh, we are also getting information from our sources that there could be two people who entered that room. Uh, of course, every other matter is a matter of investigation. But uh, why shouldn't the police investigate along these lines that the scene of crime could have been dressed up. You see, there are many reasons why the police has reasons to, uh, you know, suspect uh, that the, uh, perhaps uh, the crime scene could have been dressed up. Uh, one being that the CCTV was not operational. The other being they were 
uh, you know, sort of injection marks on her body, and her body was lying in a very normal manner, as if uh, she was, you know, very peacefully uh, she was uh, asleep. Uh, so that was uh, the feedback we got. Uh, we got from our sources uh, who had, uh, you know, the, the investigators who had visited the crime spot, and they said that there was something amiss, and they suspected some sort of foul play. But then <clears throat> there are a number of things which uh, made them suspect that the crime scene could have been dressed up. Uh, so Alprex uh, could have been planted. So these are the re these are some uh, angles which the police is go looking into, and in due course of time, with questioning, more further questioning, uh, they, they, uh, there'll be more clarification from Keith.